But hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome as usual back to What's for Tea. And it's lovely to see you, so thanks for coming over just to check out this very quick and easy recipe for air fryer chips. I was kindly sent an air fryer for review, and the first thing I think of when I think of air fryer is air fryer chips. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to make these, and I will give you details of the air fryer that I'm using later on in the video. So this is the potatoes that I'm using here. I am using red skin potatoes, but use whatever you like. You can leave the skin on, take the skin off. I'm leaving the skin on because my granny always told me the goodness is in the skin. So I'm leaving the skin on and I've just cut mine quite chunky. So mine's are in a bowl and I'm going to cover these with boiling water. This is going to start the cooking process. And it's going to give you a lovely crunchy chip with a lovely fluffy interior. So you want to let these sit for about five minutes and your chips will start to look a wee bit more opaque on the outside because like I said this is the cooking process started and it's going to help with the cooking of your chips. So you want to dry these off. You can use some kitchen paper or I am just going to lay mine on a clean tea towel, cover that with another clean tea towel and just give them a gentle pat until they are completely dry. So I'm going to scoop these up and set them to the side. I'm going to get my bowl back which I've just quickly dried and then to this I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil but you can use whatever oil you prefer. I like to use olive oil for these kinds of things and you want to put your chips back into the bowl and give them a good toss around with your hands just to make sure your chips are evenly coated in that oil. So go over to your air fryer and pop them directly into your air fryer basket. Make sure the basket is in there because that's going to help the air circulate and these this air fryer has a one step function so you just press the button and it'll cook these at 195 degrees for 25 minutes and around the 13 minute mark it will give you a wee alarm and it will start to beep and let you know to come back and give them a good old shake again just to make sure that they cook evenly because obviously there'll be some under there or underneath that are a wee bit paler so you want to get those up to the top. Pop your basket back in and when mine have got about four or five minutes to go I'm going to come back and season these. You can season these with whatever you like. I am just going to use salt because I'm a plain Jane but you can use cayenne pepper, paprika, herbs, you know whatever you like or you could just leave them plain. So mine have got another four minutes to go. And that's them done. And don't they look marvellous? And these smell incredible as well. And they're lovely and crunchy and crispy. So yeah, that is them done. So we would usually have these at the side of a dinner, you know, but they're perfect on their own, just with some ketchup or mayo. And I'm going to bite into one of these just to let you hear how crunchy they are because you can't see, obviously, on the screen there, just how crunchy and crispy these are. And they were just lovely and fluffy in the middle. So I'm going to pop these into a basket just for the purposes of a nice video for the thumbnail. But yeah, I wouldn't typically have them like this. I would just pop them into a bowl, you know, use your fingers or a fork, whatever you like. But I'm just going to chew into one of these just to let you hear how incredible they sound. Yeah, they are wonderful or they were wonderful. Crazy. Yeah, I would typically use oven chips, you know, frozen oven chips. So we were having chips in the air fryer. I've only ever done homemade chips once before in the air fryer. And it was such a long time ago. This was the air fryer that I used here. Like I said, I was very kindly sent this to review. I do have a link there if you want to go and shop this on Amazon. It's not a, an affiliate link. So I mean, I don't get anything if you decide to go on and buy this. But I know a lot of folk haven't actually bought an air fryer yet and they're a bit late to the air fryer game as I was. So I will leave it down in the description box underneath for anyone that's interested in buying one for themselves. This is a really fab air fryer. It's a lot bigger than the one I have. This is a five and a half litre capacity air fryer. So it's going to be big enough even if you have a larger family. There are 11 presets on there, you know, just a one step, one touch function. And it also comes with a recipe book, which has got over a hundred recipes. So if you want 
to make something other than chips, you know, it will give you some good ideas. And your basket, you can just pop into the dishwasher and it'll come out brand new. I always do that with my air fryer basket into the dishwasher and it comes out as good as new. And it's also a triple A class energy air fryer. So it's very economical as well. So yeah, just fab. So do let me know what you thought of that one. And just before I leave you, I wanted to say as usual, a huge thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments for all the wonderful things that you do. And for those that share the videos as well. It's all very much appreciated. And I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe back on Saturday for our food shop and bagging or back on Sunday for our family meals of the week. But whenever you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch up with you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.